In this video, we will be looking at nuclide notation. Here on the screen is an example of a general nuclide notation. X is the symbol of the element. Z represents the atomic number, which is always the number of protons. And for an atom, this will be also the number of electrons. A represents the mass number, which is the protons plus the neutrons. And N, which can be positive or negative, is the charge if you're dealing with an ion. Metal ions are always positive and their charge is equal to the number of electrons that they have lost. This is usually the same as their group number. Non-metals always form negative ions and they will gain electrons. This is equal to the number of electrons that they require to fill their outer shell. You can use nuclide notation to calculate the number of protons, neutrons and electrons present in any sort of particle. So here we have a particle of sodium and we're being asked to work out how many protons, electrons and neutrons are present. So first of all you need to have a look and see if it is an ion or an atom and you'll be able to tell that if it has a charge in this corner here and it doesn't so this must be an atom so it's neutral. For the protons it is always this number at the bottom here so our protons equal 11. For the electrons, we've decided that it's neutral since it doesn't have any charge, so the electrons must be equal to the protons, so it's also 11. For the neutrons, we have a look at this number here. It's not as simple as just writing that number down. This is the mass number, so it takes into account the protons and the neutrons. So neutrons is equal to 23 minus 11. So this is the total of protons and neutrons added together. 11 is our number of protons, so that gives us 12 neutrons. So we have calcium, and again you need to have a look and decide if it's neutral or if it has a charge. So it doesn't have a charge here, so it must be a neutral species. So protons is equal to the bottom number, the atomic number, so that is 20. Electrons. As it's neutral, electrons is equal to protons, so it's also 20. And the neutrons is the mass number minus the atomic number. That will give us 20 neutrons also. This example here is an example of a positive ion. So we have a positive charge here. So when we look at our electrons, it will not be equal to our protons. However, when we're looking at protons, again, it's just this number at the bottom here, the atomic number. So our protons equals three. For the electrons, we have a positive charge. That means that this atom here has lost an electron. Electrons are negative species so when we lose them we become more positive. So the electrons will be 3 minus the one that it's lost to give you two electrons present. Finally the neutrons, as we know it's mass number minus atomic number, so that's 7 minus 3 equals 4. Looking now at a negative ion, a negative sign here. So protons, the number in the bottom left there, protons equals 17. Electrons. We've got a negative ion, that means that it's gained an electron. So whilst we used to have 17, we've now got an extra electron. So there are 18 electrons. And then finally the neutrons. It's a mass number which is 35 minus 17 protons to give us 18 neutrons. The other thing that you could be asked to do is to write a nucleic notation. So the first thing you need to do is find out what element that you're looking for. So we are looking at an atom of oxygen. So it has a symbol of O. Then you need to look at the information you're given. So this atom contains eight protons, eight neutrons, 
and eight electrons. So protons, you know that they are the atomic number that goes at the bottom left. So there's our eight protons. We have eight electrons and eight protons. They're balanced, so there'll be no charge. Another clue is it says an atom rather than an ion. Then we need to do our mass number. So our mass number is going to be eight plus eight to give us 16, which goes on the top. This should always be bigger than this. So make sure that you have them the right way round. Here's another example. So we're looking at magnesium, symbol Mg. You would be able to get that from your data book. It says that we have 12 protons. So 12 goes on the bottom left. It also says that we have 12 electrons, so it must be balanced again, so there'll be no charge. And then finally, our mass number. So we have 12 protons and 12 neutrons. 12 plus 12 is 24. Our final example is that of an ion. So the element that we're looking at is fluorine, which has a symbol F. If we start with the protons, we have nine protons. So we can put that there. But this time we have 10 electrons. So we have one extra electron, and these electrons are negative, so we put a small negative charge here. And then finally, looking at our mass number, we have nine protons and ten neutrons, so our mass number will be 19.